Body smoking like a cigarette. Oh. So if I can do this in about a minute, about eight months into into my marriage, one day Tara had had enough, and she had decided that she was going to pack her load and leave our marriage because she was so convinced that I did not love her. Why? Because she said. <laughs> she said that I was keeping malice and that you know I am a person who generally never wants to say the wrong thing so if I'm upset I would rather swallow any thoughts that would lead to a wrong word she considers that to be malice especially maybe when the thing is reaching about four four days which i have not been able to find anything good to say so by this time she had already taken it that look you know what because tara is a really great communicator um she loves to chat she wants and i on the other hand i can live with it i can live without so here it was tara had already told me she was going to leave I did not argue, I wasn't angry, I said to her, remember, I didn't tell you to leave, but I will tell you this, if you leave, you can't come back home, because <laughs> I didn't chase you out, but I may not be able to let you in. She said, what, are you even telling me that? That's what I'm talking about, long and short of it, she had packed her load. But by this time already, it was like 1 a.m. No argument to anybody that was outside the house would not know anything was going on. There was no shouting. There was no argument. But then she decided to do something, which was to sleep until morning before, before she left. So here it was. She, her load was packed. She had put them in the car. I was watching. I didn't say a thing. All I kept on saying was, ha. Hey, hey, hey. Larry will not beg me on this one. Oh. Isaac will not beg me. Oh. Nobody can beg me because I didn't chase her. I heard the voice of God clearly. And he said to me, if you let her go, you are finished. I thought, what? I'm finished? How? <laughs> She's not the one paying a thing in the house. I'm the one that is paying the rent. I'm the one doing this. I'm the one doing that. My business is doing great. How can I be finished if she leaves? Yeah. And God led me to one scripture. I'd never seen it before. Malachi, I think it was chapter 2. And he said, and for this reason, you flood my altar with tears. He says, and you also accuse me that I do not receive your offerings with goodwill. And the next thing I saw, he said, it is because, meaning God did not deny that he was not listening and he, was not, he didn't deny that he did not receive the offering. He said, because you have broken faith with the wife of your youth. So it meant that the moment Tara left, my SIM card was invalid. <laughs> There was no way I could dial God in my understanding. From that day, it occurred to me, and I think God later reinforced it, that there were three of us in the marriage. Not two. I told her, and I've said it to her several times, I said, I am trying to impress God as much as I'm trying to impress you in this marriage. And I cannot lie to anybody. That is all that, that drives me in this marriage. I'm trying to impress two people. Let me just close with this. Do you realize that there are many marriages that outside, in front of people, they look better than they are inside? Well, in my own case, my, my audience is not the people that see me outside. My audience is God. I am so aware of the eyes of God on me and my marriage that I, no matter what has to happen, my marriage has to be good in front of God. 
not just in front of people. So this is what happens. My baby, my baby, oh. I'll be love you forever, oh. Girl, for your body, I'ma risk it. Risk it. I'ma risk it.